YouTube friends, what's going on? David Lee back with a brand new video. And today we're talking about if you could only use one lens, which lens would that be? Specifically with focal length, 24, 35, 50, etc., etc. And the inspiration for this video comes from um, a viewer who asked, uh, his name is Jeff Lennon. He asked, I'm trying to find one lens to shoot my short film with the Sony a7 III. The majority of the film is inside a hospital like environment with no electricity. There is natural light here and there, but the basement is pitch dark, and the girl in the film only have a flashlight. What lens can I shoot this film with that has great low light performance and wide enough to capture all I need for under a hundred ooh, for under one thousand dollars? And that's a very, very good question. Um, but for this video, let's take it into the context of not necessarily that same environment, but if there was one lens you could use that could give you good low light performance. Uh, that was, you know, wide enough uh, to get you different focal lengths, what lens could that be? Recently, I DP'd a short film that's going to be on the uh, local film festivals here in Los Angeles in the near future, um, but the film was entirely shot in an uh, office space. So out of the three-ish locations that we used, uh, one was a pretty tight office, the other one was a little bit of a bigger office, and the other one was like a small conference room type setting. But I use the SLR Magic 50mm f1.1 for every shot. Now you might be saying to yourself, 50 millimeters, like that's it's it's too compressed, right? If you have the space, right, to physically back up, then no, it's not. You may not be getting everything in perspective. Uh, say if you're using like a full frame 24 millimeters compared to a full frame 50 millimeter, right? Because the overall depth of field and the compression is more with the 50. However, like I said, again, if you have the space to back up, you can get a wide shot. It doesn't have to necessarily be a 24 or an 18 or a 16 millimeter to have a wide shot, but it still has the same effect. I like the 50 or anything between 40 and 50 because the closer you get, you still have enough compression where um, it denotes more of a importance right of the shot. That could be um, someone's eye light. That could be like a low 45 shot going up. You can get a straight beeline shot, uh, two people talking, you can get a 50-50 shot. So you have different options, but typically with primes, uh, they'll give you the shallow depth of field, like f1.4, um, f1.8, f2, that you want for those close-up shots. You can sort of get the same thing with a 24, but even if you were you know, this close with a 24, it's wide enough where you're still getting a lot in the background that you may not want. Whereas with the 50, you know, the closer you get, everything else in the background is going to be blurred out, which is exactly what you want. And there's going to be less, um, there's going to be less objects in the background for your viewer to see or to watch. Now, if you have a camera that oversamples in a uh, Super 35 or an APS-C mode, uh, like the A7R2, and I believe the A7R3, what those cameras do is they take a 5K image and then downsample that. Um, to 4k. So essentially you're getting a higher quality image. Now with that being said, if you take a 35 millimeter lens and put it on an a7r2, a7r3 in super 35 mode, now you're getting a 50 millimeter equivalent length. And on top of that, if you go back into full frame mode, you have that 35 millimeter length, uh, which will give you a wider shot if you physically can't back up. And you guys should definitely take a look at the SLR Magic lenses. If you shoot um, Sony E-mounts, they have their uh, original E-mount cine lenses in different focal lengths. So they have a 35 and they have a 50. If you have those two on a, a Sony camera with Super 35 mode, then you're pretty much set. And both of those lenses will probably run you less than $600 uh, US. They also have a new range of their micro primes coming out, which are kind of like uh, Rokinon has their Zine lenses, which are the cinema lenses. And then they have the Rokinon uh, DS lenses, which are kind of like a smaller version of the Zine lenses. So SR Magic is doing the same thing. They have the micro primes, which are smaller versions, more compact versions of their cinema APO line lenses. So, what lens do you use if you can only pick one? For me, it would be a 50. However, if you're in a situation where you're going to a location, um, hopefully you can scout the location beforehand, and you feel that a 50 would just be, you know, it's just too tight, 
you need something a little bit wider, but you can also get the same um, depth of field if you were closer, then something like a 35 millimeter would be perfect. And if you're like our friend who's shooting um, basement with no light, um, then yeah. If you like the video, like the video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite lens to use with is. And especially if you only had one option, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, just so you're notified of new content coming out. And remember friends, every day you have an opportunity to create your experience and to write and tell your own story. My name is David Lee, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.